Hey everybody, Chad Wesley Smith here, bringing you the fifth and final installment in our Pillars of Great Deadlift Technique series. I'm joined by IPF World Champion and World Record Holder, Marissa Inda, and today we're going to be talking about uh, the lockout portion of the deadlift, and particularly how to initiate an early lockout and so you can shorten the distance that you have to pull the bar and really maximize the effectiveness of your hips. Keep in mind that a great deadlift lockout starts at the beginning of the lift. If you're in a bad start position, it's very unlikely that you're going to have an efficient and effective lockout. So go back and, wa and watch parts one through four of this series to make sure you're doing everything right leading up to this portion of things. What we want to emphasize in the lockout of the deadlift is locking out as early as possible. The common problem that we see with this is as people pull the bar, that they end up pulling the bar up and back too late in the deadlift. So the bar here gets pretty high on Marissa's thigh before she begins to lean back into the lockout, kind of hyperextending her back into the finish. What we want to achieve with an ideal and optimal deadlift lockout is when the bar, when you feel the bar reach the bottom of your knee, that then the athlete will begin driving the hip through to meet the bar at lockout. So as the bar rises, the hip comes forward and they meet at the top rather than pulling the bar up and back into the hip. We want the bar to move in a straight line throughout the lift. So just come up to the bottom of your knee and stop. So right there, the bar is barely moved, but that's where the lockout needs to begin to, to really create this short, efficient lockout. So the bar is going to get to the bottom of Marissa's knee. And as soon as it's at the bottom of her knee, then she's going to begin to drive her hip forward to the bar. She's going to engage her glutes and fire it through to the bar. Head position can come into play with this a little bit as well. Uh, we have some athletes who actually prefer to tuck their chin a little bit into the lockout. Other athletes will prefer to drive their head up slightly. Either one is fine, sort of whatever you feel more comfortable with. You just want to make sure that as soon as the bar gets here, bottom of the knee, that you're very quickly, compactly driving your hips forward to meet the bar at lockout rather than getting it up high on the thigh and over-exaggerating a leaned back position. As you stand at lockout with the bar, the quads should be flexed as hard as possible, the glutes should be flexed as hard as possible, the athlete is standing very tall. It's, we're locking out up, not locking out by laying back. A good exercise to help the athlete understand the hip lockout uh, part of the deadlift and something that could be good for them to use in the warmup is a tall kneeling glute activation. So if Marissa is to go on her knees, she's gonna hold the weight in front of her body, she's gonna sit her butt back on her heels, and then flex her glutes to drive herself tall, and just going through that for you know, 10, 15 reps in the warm up. That's a really simple exercise for the athlete to begin to turn the hips on, to understand what it feels like to fire the hips to meet the bar at lockout, and effectively use the glutes in the lockout. So that's gonna be really the, the main key points for an effective deadlift lockout, is that we wanna start the lockout early. We wanna drive the hips forward to meet the bar when you feel the bar at the bottom of your knee. That needs to happen when the bar is at the bottom of your knee, because if, if you wait until you feel the bar at the top of your knees, it's gonna to be too late at that point. And particularly when it's a new cue, you have to do it earlier because that cue has to go from your brain through your body and actually go into action. So make sure that you're starting the lockout early. The tall kneeling glute activation can be a good way to cue that and kind of get the body firing the, the right way. And then when you're at lockout, make sure that you're standing tall, locking out up, not back, with your quads and glutes flexed hard. That was our part five, the final installment of our Pillars of Great Deadlift Technique series. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out all the previous parts and subscribe to our channel for more great content like this.